Welcome to Never Heard That. My name is Andrew Mukey. It is great to have you with me. Today we're going to be listening to the track Take Me Alive by the musical act Tweaker from their 2001 debut album The Attraction to All Things Uncertain. Tweaker began its life as an alter ego for the US musician Chris Vrenner. Vrenner has a rich musical pedigree which began with industrial rock band Nine Inch Nails. A school buddy of frontman Trent Reznor, Vrenner was the band's drummer from 1989 to 1997, which was certainly a particularly successful period for the band. In addition to being a well-regarded drummer, he was also highly skilled with rhythm and keyboard programming, so he has quite an armory of skills musically. The other act that he played with for an extended period of time was Marilyn Manson. He undertook keyboard and drum duties for them from 2004 until 2011. In developing and demonstrating his high-level programming skills, this found him being well sought after by a huge range of bands for producing, remixing, engineering or all of the above. Some examples worth sharing, not just because of the names involved, but also because of the variety of the music of the acts that he has worked with, includes The Smashing Pumpkins, U2, Gary Newman, Metallica, David Bowie, Hole, Green Day and Live. And there are many more. It might not be surprising then to find out that he has also been pursued to provide soundtracks for video games. His first involvement with video game soundtracks was with Nine Inch Nails and the game Quake from way back in 1996 and that continues to this day. He did some work for the Call of Duty franchise with their Advanced Warfare release from 2015 and also Quake Champions in 2018. I became aware of Tweaker through the release of the song Linoleum with David Sylvian on vocals. The first single off the debut album, it is a really terrific track and one definitely worth pursuing if you enjoy today's track, Take Me Alive. The vocalist on Take Me Alive is Craig Wedron from the band Shudder to Think. I remember then finding out that Tweaker, or Chris Venner, as this was essentially a solo album with invited guest vocalists, was previously from Nine Inch Nails. I couldn't quite reconcile that as it seemed so far away from their industrial rock. Thinking it through further though, it did make some sense, as there has been that programming element to Nine Inch Nails which has differentiated them from the typical industrial crowd. I wonder if Frenner got to a point where he wanted to explore his skills in a more electronic way and this might be the reason why Tweaker was formed. Regardless of that, I certainly think that the attraction to all things uncertain is a very entertaining album. There is an impressive lot of musical adventure going on and it is a cross mix of alternative pop rock and electronica. It is well worth investing your time to. There are four Tweaker albums in all, two after he finished with Nine Inch Nails and then two more when he completed his stint with Marilyn Manson. Any new additions will be happily accepted. Here is the track Take Me Alive by the musical act Tweaker from their 2001 debut album The Attraction to All Things Uncertain. Oh 